Good evening, and welcome to another gay punk vlog! Today I'm going to be talking about my infamous, and maybe not so infamous, paintings! <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I paint! It's great! It's, it's a thing that I've done because painting, I, I, don't, I don't have an explanation for my hidden talents. I don't need them, I guess. So today I'm going to show off just a little bit of the things I haven't showed off yet on this YouTube channel. The first one I'm going to show off is one I just finished, like literally yesterday. And uh, I, I don't really have a name for it yet, but it's, it's a merman and uh, he has pink hair. He looks a bit bald from a distance, I might fix that later. Eh, who knows. But, uh, I was definitely inspired by, you know, mermaid lore, uh, things of that nature. Uh, there's a... My, my seas are red, my sky is red. I really just didn't give a fuck. I just wanted to, uh... I, I saw the colors in my brain, like red, green, black, and silver, and pink. And I was like, I want that. And then I made them into an image, and that was awesome. Originally, I was going to paint uh, the folk a little lover right here, but I figure less is more, you know? Who knows what that merman could be staring off into the distance. He could be staring at club goers or, or whatever, and, you know, and I'm really quite happy with this piece, and it's, it's, it's a thing. Next, and the most amazing thing I've done so far, is my evil sea bitch, as I like to call her. And, uh, she just, sh sh look at her. She's big, she's beautiful, her waist is disproportioned to the size of her tits. Just get a good look of her. Head to toe, silver crown, viking teeth, uh, you know, bazangas, uh, a shark hand, a claw, uh, just... Just, just, just look at her. She's vicious, she's mean, and this poor guy over here don't got a chance. Don't got a chance against her. Like most of my paintings, uh, this one took a lot of planning. I, I sketched it out several times first before I decided to do the thing, and then it got to the point where I was like really blue for a while, and I was debating just painting over it and starting over. But then like one day, like, like her eyes were just looking at me, and she was just like, Fucking finish me, you asshole. And then I went to work and I got done with her that very same night that I decided to stare into her eyes like that. Next up is one of my older pieces and one of my personal favorites. I call it, um, I forgot the name of it really because it's been with me that long. But it is sort of a representation of like an urban area and uh, it, it tells a story and I really like it for that. As you can see, this was during my experimental phase where I hot glued shit everywhere. It's very much like a, like a collage of things as well as a painting. And it's just a city street and uh, a lonely boy that may or may not be me with bleach blonde hair. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just, it tells this tale. I mean, there's a big old city. I mean, you st you, I could stare at this for quite a long time. And uh, it's one of those things I am not ashamed to have on my wall because uh, it's just really fucking cool. And it was during a part of my life where I thought everything was bullshit. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's just rebel art. It's just... <sighs> Next up is another very interesting piece. Uh, I call it my sort of Christmas Eve piece because I finished it on Christmas Eve. And... This one was very interesting because it's not on a canvas, it's on a plank of wood that I found in the alleyway. And I just was in the urge to paint and had little to no supplies. And uh, this was a r another rough time in my life. I was going through a breakup and uh, I had nothing. I had no acrylics on me. So over here I used uh, Halloween like spirit store like makeup and uh, and the rest of it I just used I watered down some watercolors really thin and I just I wanted to get this purple sky and this really blue dark blue sea uh, and uh, over here was the only acrylic I used was for this the white in the back and then pastels for everything else and it's just a, just a boat sailing that way and a traveler going that way and 
it's again one of my favorites uh who knows if anyone will ever put it on their wall i don't have a means to do it yet but maybe i will next up is my unlucky kitty and uh this one is just it it oozes with texture and i very much oh, i like to show it off whenever i can and uh this was um after i came back uh from uh seattle and uh it was just i was thinking of someone in particular who was uh very lovecraftian and stuff but also very 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 cute so uh this was just sort of a homage to his personality and oh god just look how that fucking shines in the fucking light and just look how flat that looks and just oh it's my unlucky kitty fun fact i i think in there uh it, i don't know if it was oh I don't know if it was like Korean or Japanese, but I think I put like death or something. I'm not the best artist in the world. I don't remember all my shit. <laughs> Next up is the hamster factory, as I like to call it. And it is my sort of representation of Modesto, California back when it was painted, which was 2000 and can't remember, but, uh, but as I'd like to, to see, I want to do a sequel sort of to this painting of the inside of the factory. And inside the factory, I imagine that there are just a bunch of fucking hamsters on wheels going around in fucking circles. Which is what I pretty much thought of everyone in Modesto, California, my hometown at the time. Uh, it's got a red uh, sunset and god, this is like the only time I used oil painting. And if you know anything about oil paintings, they take days to dry and I don't have that kind of time really so this was a definite definitely a labor of love and patience and it's just so cool and uh I almost I almost sold this one because someone really really loved it they're like oh yeah the sky is like police sirens and I was like yeah yeah want to buy it and he's like oh I'll come back later for it and then I was like Darn. Next up is, uh, yet again, another really old one. I call this one Fueled, and its basis is of the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz, with several, several liberties and tweaks of my own. It's one of those where you really have to look at it in person to appreciate all the little tiny details I put into it. At the time I made this, uh, I was feeling rather fueled and heartless and mean and vengeful and uh, I felt like my friends around me were, you know, helping me to get myself back together but there was still that hate and rage inside of my non-existent heart that kept me very fueled and very angry despite the effort my very, very friends tried to help, you know? And, uh, you know, some, I feel like everyone sort of feels that way. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those really great pieces that, you know, speaks on a very LGBT gay man kind of level in ways that may or may not be offensive to some people. But, but I say, fuck them. It's my art, damn it. And last but very not least is this infamous little thing. Uh, you may have seen this in a previous video where I was in my boxer shorts covered in blood um, presenting this wearing this on my face uh, it was a very rough time you know I don't know if you know this about the, my channel but I went through some very uh, experimental kind of phases like it's, it's very um this channel is very experimental like just uh... <laughs> you like I said this is a piece that has been around for a long time and uh, I, I it what it is, is sort of like everything that anyone has ever called me. Uh, and I just decided one day to make that part of my defenses and part of my shield and part of my, you know, literal mask. And, uh, you know, own, own up to all these things. And, you know, uh, it really sort of helped me in the long run to sort of recognize that, yeah, I'm not all these things, but, you know, maybe I am and fuck you. So, you know, this is my sort of me coming to terms with uh, flaws in my personality and things that, you know, may not have been so pretty about me. 
but you know i still think it's pretty you know just like the phantom of the opera you know things that he may you people may not have seen you know that were beautiful you know he saw beautiful and i felt like that sort of same thing at the time i'm also a fucking sucker for classic horror references who the fuck knew all right folks that's about all we have time for i may be showcasing these paintings in person in uh maybe sacramento maybe modesto maybe wherever but if you want information on where i'll be showing my paintings uh there are links in the description to the like page for dope productions and uh you'll keep be kept up to date on where i may be showing and selling these Ooh, spooky but uh you know give me a like a comment and subscribe you know if you like this stuff and you want to see more of it uh i hope to be bringing you more content as the future progresses but uh you know till then good night folks